The movie begins as we see a girl walking through the street holding something very tightly to her chest. Within the heavy rainfall, a red cross appears indicating the premises of a church. She walks to the main door and bends down to put what appears to be a child. She looks to her right and left indicating her nervousness to make sure nobody knows this is her child. The scene then shifts inside a car, two women sitting who witness everything that has happened. From their conversation, we get the idea that they are investigating the whereabouts of the church. One of them pronounced Detective One debated whether they should put the baby inside or not because of the heavy rainfall, but one of them insisted and hurriedly go to put the baby inside the box. As soon as she put the child, a bell can be heard ringing indicating inside the church. Two men named, Dong and Sang, bring the baby inside. Dong hurriedly goes to peek outside to make sure no one is there. Sang shuffles through the baby's basket to find a letter from his mother, So Young. She simply has written how she will come back later to pick the baby up. But there was no further information or any point of contact given. Sang quickly puts the letter away and asks Dong to delete the CCTV footage of So Young leaving her son at the front door. The scene then further proceeds where a black van appears with Sang driving it and from their conversation it can be known how they are going to sell the baby within the blank market. They drive the car throughout the night to reach some outskirt areas. We see another car tailing them from behind with the previously mentioned detectives within them. The scene then shifts to a morning where we see Sang hanging out some clothes outside a shop. As he sits down to tailor some clothes, he gets a call from Dong. He rushed to the rooftop where through the phone call, Dong tells him how So Young is now looking for her child. Dong also explains to him how she overhears So Young telling the authorities how she left the baby outside of the box. Sang gets extremely nervous hearing this and chants how there must be another party involved because they did find the baby inside the box. So Young is then shown going through rooms looking for her child. But as she sees looks through the faces of these children, she is unable to find her child. When inquired, Dong simply tells her there is no record of such a child in the administration register. He also lies to her by saying that it was him on duty but he hasn't seen any baby. She walks off at the end of the street but Dong can be seen following her. As she stops by to wash her hands, he goes behind her back and asks her if she would like to meet her baby. Throughout the conversation, they make her feel guilty for abandoning her child like this. They bring the baby to her and she inquired about why they have it with them instead of the church. Sang explained the note, she left with the baby is the reason why they had to bring it with them. The note said she will pick up the child later closing any future possibility of it being adopted, but So Young doesn't buy that story and plans to report them. Seeing this, Sang was left with no option but to offer her that the 10 million won after selling the baby will be equally divided among the three. Hearing the huge amount of money, So Young agrees. The scene then shifts to the next morning where So Young can be seen sitting inside the van as Dong fills the car with all the necessities. The detectives can see watching all this from afar. As Sang goes inside the shop, two men walk inside demanding the gambling money of last week from Sang which he is in debated for. He shrugs them off by telling them that he will pay them soon. The journey of the three then begins with the detectives stalking them from behind to catch them red hand from human trafficking. The three of them meet with a potential buyer on a seaport but seeing the child, they argue how it is not similar to the pictures posted. After further commenting on the baby's facial features, they ask if the price can be lowered up to 60% with 12-month installations. Having enough of their tantrums, So Young snaps and angrily walks off. Back in the van, Sang and Dong speaks to her explaining how her attitude is only going to chase the clients off. Without losing hope, they decide to meet the next buyer. The scene then shifts to show a hotel room where a murder has happened. Taking the report from the forensic, they get to know how the man died by having his neck broken after being snapped by someone. Looking at the room's condition, they deduce that the culprit is a woman. The screen then again shows the three who stop at an orphanage. All the children over there suddenly run towards Sang, excitedly greeting him. Dong tells So Young how Sang is popular among the kids over there. Sang spends time there with Madam. Over the dinner, the orphanage's madam shares that one of the kids was adopted, but then abused when the parents have their biological children. This sparks So Young's concerns about her son. She grabs her crying baby and brings him to the car, singing him a lullaby as he falls asleep. At the same time, the detectives are planning a GPS tracker inside their car. Hearing the lullaby, they start to understand that there is still some love from So Young for her child. The scene shows So Young bathing her child. Meanwhile, Dong and So Young are arguing about So Young's action for abandoning her baby. Dong hates it when parents abandon their babies with a comeback later letter because only one out of 40 parents come back for them. So Young lashes out and argues back about how Dong is raised in an orphanage and still becomes nothing even at this age. After Dong leaves, Sang reveals that Dong's parents left him in the orphanage with the letter, but never came back for him, making him sentimental about it. 
Dong can be seen gasping for air as he knows some children look up to him and will be extremely disappointed if he gets back unsuccessful. In the morning, So Young apologizes to Dong for what she said last night and he forgives her. Back to the investigation, the police find that the murderer is actually So Young while she was working as a prostitute, and her baby is also the victim's son. The police ask her whereabouts to the pimp. She says that she has run away after not having the heart to abort her baby. The news reaches the detectives, making the condition much more complicated. They want to close the case immediately, so the detective promises to capture Sang and Dong in three days. Meanwhile, the three can be seen driving somewhere to meet a buyer. Suddenly, another potential buyer comes up with an offer twice the market price. The offer is put up as bait by the detectives. And so, the two parties are going to the designated place. Suddenly, Sang pulls over and finds the boy from the orphanage in their car. He knows everything about their plan and insists on going together. Sang and Dong reluctantly invite him on the journey. Along the way, the boy is so talkative and innocent. He is so charming and lightens the mood very much, making the rest of the three laughs and get closer. Arriving at the meeting point, they finally meet the potential buyer. So Young asks whether they will cherish her baby even though they have their biological children later on. The buyers stutter upon answering the question. Turns out, they are the buyers planted by the detectives. After knowing that they are fake, they refuse to do the transaction with them and leave. Along the way, so Young is amazed by Dong's knowledge and praises him. Suddenly, the boy opens the window while they are in a car washing machine. All of them laugh so hard due to the boy's mischief. They start to open up about their past experiences, and even So Young reveals her true name to them. Having failed on their last attempt, the detectives plan to use the murdered man's wife to threaten So Young. They reveal that So Young is the murderer and the man's wife threatens her over a call. After the call, the detectives are outside waiting for her. They offer to reduce her sentence if she agrees to wear a bug and help capture Sang and Dong. She agrees to it but is still conflicted deep within her heart. Back at the hotel, Sang and Dong are making a schedule to feed milk to her baby. They happily take care of the baby, as if he is their own. Sang has also just found a new buyer in Seoul, who offers three times the market price for the baby. In the morning, the baby is crying non-stop due to his fever. They bring him to a hospital immediately. Slowly, the detectives who have been following them start to care about the baby too. Despite this, the senior detective doesn't like So Young for being irresponsible as a mother. After the consultation, So Young thanks Sang and Dong for taking care of her baby. On the other hand, the victim's wife has hired some thugs to buy the baby from Sang and Dong for a big sum of money. One of the thugs knows Sang and immediately makes the offer to him. At night, the detectives summon So Young and try to dig deeper into her problems. They try to help her and defend her in court later but So Young refuses their help and puts up a strong front instead. So Young and the senior detective then continue debating whether it's better to abort her baby or give birth than abandon him. The next morning, Sang secretly meets the thugs to do the transaction. Dong is actually in the car and has found the detective's GPS tracker. Knowing Sang's true intention, Dong asks to not leave So Young alone and he agrees to it. Shortly after, the thug comes, but Sang has changed his mind. He cares more for baby's safety rather than the big money promised by the man's wife. Arriving in Seoul, they immediately meet the last potential buyer. The new couple is sincere in raising the baby as their child. They have just had a stillborn baby, making them long for the baby very much. Even the mother breastfeeds So Young's baby, something that even So Young has never done. However, they request that So Young never meets her baby anymore. They give So Young some time to think about it. After the meeting, they go to an amusement park together. Slowly, they start to become a real family. On the wheel, Dong says to So Young that he wants to raise her baby as the father. This makes So Young smile a bit because for once, she is sincerely wanted by someone. Then, So Young confesses that she doesn't want her baby to be a murderer's child, and that's why she abandoned him. Empathizing with her condition, the senior detective meets So Young and offers her some parole should she turn herself in, so that she may live with her baby later on. However, so Young doesn't want her baby to live like her and still wishes for the couple from earlier to adopt him. Meanwhile, Sang wakes up in the middle of the night to secretly sell the baby to the thug. However, Dong loves So Young, and he intends to sacrifice himself by selling the baby to the couple from earlier instead, so she can get the sentence reduced. He does this to ensure that So Young can be released earlier and take care of her baby. Suddenly, the detectives come in with a charge to incriminate Dong for human trafficking. In addition, so Young has also turned herself in, so she will be released much earlier. On the other hand, Sang cannot reason with the thug, so he has killed him to tie up loose ends. Three years later, So Young's baby has been raised by the senior detective and her husband. 
In the end, she can be seen running toward her grown child. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe for more epic videos. We will see you at the next one.